Hello and welcome to programming. This is video number 48. In this video I'll show you how to create the bin package from JavaFX application. So let's start up NetBean and create the new project which is going to be JavaFX application of course. We are going to call it my app. We're not going to be touching the code, so we've done step one. And we go to step one. We're going to be editing JFX implementation.xml, which is not supposed to be touched. So we are going to disable auto update by copy these. onto the file, the property file. So we go to tab file which is in the window and files and in there we are going to see um, NetBean NB project file. Go to um, project properties um, just put it at the very end save it Next, we are going to edit JFX implementation. Now, as it said here, it's auto generated. Try not to get edited, but we are naughty. So, let's look for the line. What uh, the line starts with deploy that set with. We are going to be adding this command into the file. So what is it? Set with we are going to be adding let this uh, that set native bundles to all and save it. Now when we go back to project and then right click on it and say build this should build the um, Debian package for us. When we say all, it means uh, we're trying to create all the native available native package for the um, JavaFX application. If uh, we have RPM built in our system, which usually does in uh, Linux Red Hat based but for me uh, I use Ubuntu so it the default is the Debian package so I have my Debian package using what uh, the JDK version I'm currently using 64 bit so that one is 64 bit I'm going to um, create two types which is um, 64 bit and 32 bit so I'll copy this one so let's just uh, go to NetBean project my app this bundles I'll rename that one and that's for 64 bit just so that I know that I'll drag to um, desktop now the Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to. Hmm. What should I be? Number two. Make it easy to turn on and off. Uh, so. Or just uh, uh, getting the property values called javafx.deploy.nativebundles and give in variable called native bundles and then we'll check if that actually exists we are going to set the native bundles so we are going to copy this I'm gonna put all of this in um, the, the video description so you don't have to worry about cut and paste now I'll get rid of that line so 
we need to add that property into the project file which is okay let's put that and then to comment it out we basically just put the hash in front of the line so I need that so that, that basically all you need to do in order to um, configure and setting the native bundles for your Java FX application the next thing I'm gonna do since I we're gonna be testing since I I have already done the 64 bit Debian version I'm gonna be doing creating a 32 bit version now close this and then okay go here as you can see I uh, have many JDK version one is 32 bit the other one is 64 bit I'm using 64 bit uh, Ubuntu machine so I can use both of them now just to show you that they are different I just show you how it runs 32 bit and for 64 bit they are different so 64 bit is 64 bit now right now uh, minded beans points points to the link where I actually link to the uh, actual directory of 64 bit JDK I wanna relink to 32 bit version so I'll remove the link and then link again 32 bit now I have the link to 32 bit when I open that beans it should be using a 32 bit this is one advantage of uh, manually install the JDK so uh, I need to build this and it should be using the 32 bit version right here and create my Debian package it takes a while because I need it needs to copy everything in in, in my app as you're gonna be as you're gonna see that the file is actually kinda big Okay, that's done. So I don't need the beans anymore. I just need to copy. Um, Where is that NetBean project? Nope. This and bundles. That just rename it. That's thirty-two bit. Okay, so. Here come the testing step. I'm not gonna showing how to uh, install and extract a 64 bit because that doesn't work. It uh, doesn't pack in uh, libjvm.so library. It's missing one direct uh, one library at the moment. What work is at the uh, 32 bit? So let me double click that to install. I usually drop, drop down to command line and then install it. So it would just uh, ask you if you want to install. We don't have any, anything here. The only information we give it is that the version, the name of the application, and the 
devotion license and other stuff doesn't uh, include it here so we're just gonna accept it and then install type in your password the Debian package need uh, required a root uh, privilege in order to install it so it will take a while because the file if we uh, take a look at the let's basically say ignore and install uh, let me check the property for you so the file is 50 megabyte that's um, very big it's because it included the JVM inside a file for anyone that doesn't have Java install it should be able to run hopefully so let me close it and we are almost done with the installation hopefully we see it in action soon if anyone get uh, the 64 bit to work just post it uh, as a comment just to let me know so I have installed that and we should be able to call it from from here so we should be able to say my app it should come up like this because we haven't fit configure give it the icon it, it would use the default one so that's the one when you click on it it's supposed to run it that's the uh, JFX for your native application okay click on that it should say say hello click on close it should close um, because I'm using I have my machine is kind of uh, bulk up with the screen recorder so I think it's time for me to say goodbye and before I go I just want to thank that I'm done with this, this video so that's how you create a Debian package from Java JavaFX application I believe you can also create e executable file uh, on Windows and Mac also but there are some software requirements so you're gonna have to read the document the fantastic document the uh, document says is self-contained packaging Java FX2 that's the link again I'm gonna put it there in uh, under video description so finally if you get any of this done which uh, I don't have Mac so if you're kind enough to let everybody else know just please just do so and that's it for me finally uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day goodbye